You're listening to The Cultured Bumpkin, a literature podcast with Jake Phillips, where we present audiobook quality readings of the classics for your enjoyment. Thank you for stopping by. And remember, just because you're a bumpkin doesn't mean you can't be cultured. Hello and welcome to The Cultured Bumpkin. Today, we are going to read a poem uh, from an English poet who was active way back in the day. What do you mean by way back in the day? I just heard someone say. Well, John Donne was born in the 1570s. I'm not sure if it's 71 or 72, but um, that was during the reign of Queen Elizabeth I. He would have been a teenager when uh, Philip of Spain sailed the Armada into the English Channel, and the wind uh, helped disperse the fleet and save the empire. It wasn't an empire yet, but, you know. It helped the uh, outnumbered uh, English fleet defeat the Spanish Armada, which was, you know, packed to the gills with soldiers and marines for a amphibious landing, which was planned on the... Uh, on, on you know England itself, and of course that didn't work out. So he would have been a young man uh, then. He would have you know been old enough to appreciate William Shakespeare. I don't know if he was because he was from a rich family. I don't know if he got into that kind of stuff. Um, but he would have been old enough to. Um, he would have seen King James the first crowned in 1603. He would have uh, heard about the gunpowder plot to blow up Parliament during the joint session of uh, Parliament as King James um, addressed them on uh, November 5th that, you know, he would have, uh, the plan was to blow, blow up Parliament, you know, blow them all into the same hole (laughs) with the gunpowder underneath the Parliament. And uh, then the Catholic uh, uh, Spain could come take back over and things like that. Uh, the King James Bible came out in 1611. No doubt he would have uh, heard about that, maybe read out of it. And then he became a priest in the Church of England in 1615 and then uh, passed away 1631. So he was, you know, this guy's older. You know, over over 400 years ago is a lot of his work. So, um, you know, being that he was sort of a spiritual guy and he ended up being a priest and things like that, he uh, he was raised Catholic as a kid and then ended up being Church of England as an adult. But he was very, you know, spiritually minded. He thought about God a lot and things like that. And so we are going to read Death, Be Not Proud by John Donne. Death. Be not proud, though some have called thee mighty and dreadful, for thou art not so. For those whom thou thinkest thou dost overthrow die not, poor death, nor yet canst thou kill me. From rest and sleep, which but thy pictures be much pleasure, then from thee much more must flow. And soonest our best men with thee do go, rest of their bones and souls delivery. Thou art slave to fate, chance, kings, and desperate men, and dost with poison, war, and sickness dwell, and poppy or charms can make us sleep as well and better than they stroke. Why swellest thou then? One short sleep past, we wake eternally, and death shall be no more. Death, thou shalt die. That reminds me of the passage in uh, 1 Corinthians chapter 15 where the Apostle Paul says, death is swallowed up in victory. Um, That's really cool. That's kind of the same thought is that uh, death kind of runs things right now. Every single one of us will die at some point. On a long enough timeline, the chances of survival are zero. And uh, yet one day death shall be no more. Death thou shalt die. Death is swallowed up in victory. I like that. So anyway, I hope you enjoyed that. If you're new here, I hope that you'll subscribe. 
uh, maybe leave a review, tell a friend. And if you're here uh, again, thank you very much. And either way, thank you very much for listening. You've been listening to The Cultured Bumpkin, a literature podcast with Jake Phillips. Thank you very much for listening. I really do appreciate it. If you enjoyed this, would you mind going and subscribing and leaving a nice review on whatever podcast platform platform you heard this on? I would really appreciate it. Thank you very much for listening and... We'll see you next time.